Hello guys, I'm glad to show you new Zen Sets Update 2.3. Geometry nodes, Blender 4.0 support, and other features are waiting for you. Blender 3.6 is the last version where face maps are supported and they are removed in Blender 4.0 with their values automatically converted into integer attribute. So Zen Sets 2.3 is a lifesaver for your face maps with the new option that allows to import integer attributes. Procedure of import is very simple, and the only thing you need to do is to set minus one for unassigned values as it was previously in face maps property. If it is important for you to keep the face maps names, you need to open model in Blender 3.6. Check that names are present in face maps mode, save it. Then you need to open your previously saved model in Blender 4, change group identifiers according to its position in the list. The only thing you will need to do additionally is to set zero values to the first group in the list because of difference of zero value in Zen sets. There is an option also to import Boolean attributes into sets groups. You only need to select attribute name in the list and import it. Long time it was a problem how to convert sculpt face set to vertex groups, how to assign materials or UV maps to them in edit mode. And now you can convert it in one click using import sculpt face sets menu. There always was a big issue in Blender to access specific mesh elements in geometry nodes. There is a lot of nodes with selection input, but it is not convenient to use mesh selection only. Zen Sets 2.3 provides special geometry nodes that can give an access to mesh element by group name or group identifier. You need to create them only once, and they will be available in node group menu after that. And then just simply type the name of required mesh group, and mesh elements will be filtered. Zen Sets node panel is available in node editor end panel or 3D view tools sub panel. Faces color ID is a very often task and it can be easily solved with value to color node. Every group has its unique integer identifier. It can be changed if you activate display ID group option. You need to prepare you mesh elements by encoding its values with color. Connect value to color node to the geometry output. Set color output type to point, edge, or face depending on your mesh element mode. Create color output attribute, which will be as a temporary color data for your faces. Give any associated name and use it in named attribute node. Your temporary color attribute will contain elements encoded with the corresponding group colors. You will find an advanced example in the examples panel. This is the demonstration how to set procedural terrain layers materials and mesh scattering based on Zen sets groups. There is shown how mesh faces could be dynamically assigned to different terrain groups and automatically applied to the material output. Using new mesh groups to islands feature you can unwrap your model by Zen sets groups. You can unwrap active group only or all the groups together. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.